Hello there guys and welcome to yet another video on SEPA channel. In this video we are going to review the um, once again Amigo uh, app but this time it's going to be on the actual phone. Check out on the description you're going to see the video if you want to see it on how, how it works uh, you, you, if you're going to play it in the car itself. So this is the app pretty much when you uh, pull it up. Uh, it says in there that you can connect your calendar, contacts and stuff like that with Amigo and uh, you can get your destinations in the app right away. It's quite of, uh, quite of a good app to be honest and well this is for updates it doesn't matter anyway it's updated. Now this is the app itself as you can see it is pretty nice uh, and easy to uh, navigate around the map you know if you wanna if you wanna see the map itself if you use Google Maps before or whatever navigation app it's pretty much the same thing if you wanna zoom in you just pinch in pinch out and then you, you slide it and stuff like that quite easy I must say let's see exactly what uh, what type of option the app has and let's see if we'll find some uh, some of the differences between using it on the phone and using it uh, on the uh, on the display of the car if we go to settings option we have your safe places obviously there are no safe places in there you have some settings uh, you can adjust the menu uh, you can choose the voice you can choose uh, the speed cameras if it's gonna tell you or not um, you can choose to have an audio warning uh, the timing um, you also have some uh, restrictions in there the type of uh, camera you have fixed cameras mobile cameras uh, red light traffic cameras uh, so it's um, it's quite interesting because you have all these options that most probably you're not going to find them in other apps as far as we know as an example uh, with uh, with Waze even though you have quite a few of them you don't really have that many right uh, traffic uh, traffic information show traffic or map so if you want to see exactly if uh, it's like a heavy traffic ahead or not and some information regarding uh, jams or um, also get spoken information when approaching jam it's uh, when you're gonna have that voice that's gonna tell you look there is a jam ahead 3d buildings uh, also very nice uh, uh, thing that you're going to see in uh, when we're going to actually use it while driving uh, so the buildings are like 3d uh, so it's again something added and you may like that uh, speedometer view um, if you want to change it full screen overlay and units it's automatic or you can choose between kilometers miles yards whatever miles fit uh, automatic start you can choose when the app to start automatically so uh, pretty much I guess that will be for you to choose when you actually start driving uh, which is a little bit odd in my opinion but you know people might find it interesting calendar and contacts don't get me wrong but I don't think this is something that you actually need or use you do have uh, Google with you all the time anyway so uh, you can ask Google to do stuff for you from your phone directly uh, but you know again some people may find it uh, uh, interesting if we go to privacy obviously it's gonna uh, showing here the privacy options so you can uh, choose whatever if you are going to uh, unchoose uh, you know the uh, the location you know the application will not know where you are so technically it's going to be useless uh, another uh, option that we have in here is support and if you want to invite people to amigos this is going to just send like uh, uh, like a link for for the app in order for your friends to be able to download it uh, overlay mode I think it's like an overlay on top of uh, of the, the screen itself and I'm really not that bothered to, to, to use it. If you guys want, just you know, comment in, uh, uh, down below and we're going to try that out for you also. So, um, let's go to uh, Sheffield. My bad. GBR Great Britain. Right, 32 miles, but I think it's a bit more or around this. Now, from uh, this button, you're going to choose the route. So, uh, technically, we should arrive there at 1637, 44 miles um, and about 50 second mi uh, minutes, and there is no delay. Uh, you do have the option in which you can choose the type of the route, like toll roads, avoid toll roads, ferries, whatever, motorway. You do have some more options that you can choose or you can go. And this is exactly what we're going to go. Uh, as you can see here, you have like a speedometer. Uh, so it's telling you exactly what is the uh, speed that you are uh, driving with. And in here, it should tell you what is the maximum speed. Uh, and pretty much this is like the... Um, 
thumbnail, so to speaking, the timeline of, uh, of the journey itself. And buildings, as you see, are in 3D, like a very nice 3D models. Kind of like it me. Let's give them back. Let's drive a little bit and see how it works. Now, this is a bit weird because technically it doesn't know if you are under the building, like the car park, or if you are like on a roof car park. So it looks a bit, a bit shady. So, um, while driving, uh, as uh, I was saying, you have the uh, maximum speed limit, uh, obviously in miles for for us, and what is your miles per hour. Uh, also is giving you some sort of like an indication on what to do next. Um, considering the many options that you have and the fact that also uh, it tells you a lot more regarding traffic such as I don't know, red lights, cameras and all that, I would strongly suggest it. Now, I can't, I'm quite curious if he's going to show you the actual lanes that you have to, to drive on in order to make sure you're going you're gonna to be as effective as possible. Um, but since uh, on the app that you are using on the car, on the car's display uh, or media unit or whatever you want to call it, um, I will say technically you should, you should show in here the same thing. Let's see if we're going to zoom out a little bit. We have like a bird's eye view, I think. Am I, I'm curious, is he gonna keep the same, like the path or is being changed? Because in the, um, in the car's media unit, you can actually zoom in, zoom out and have like a bird's eye view. Nah, he's not following the car, unfortunately. That's a bit sad. Right, if you wanna add some sort of a report, like an event or I don't know if there is a car stuck in traffic or, uh, or whatever you can do it from there and you can report a mobile camera roadworks jams uh, closed roads broken down car or hazards and uh, that's going to be helpful for other other people in the traffic I guess that's about it if you have any questions regarding the app or if you want to see more or you know if you think it's going to be useful to review some other thing regarding the app feel free to comment below and you know uh, share with us your opinion have a good one guys bye